What's your reaction to the team's performance, Michael? Chica? Well, I think there's a <clears throat> the one thing we'd be we need to be mindful of. I think is um, we haven't started games well. I don't think so. <clears throat> not that we haven't um, played well. We we've sort of just been a little bit less consistent in first. 20 or 30 minutes, 20 minutes, let's say, that, that part of the game, and it gets you off on the wrong foot, so it's definitely something we need to address, yeah. Get get going in games a bit faster. Rest of it is okay, yeah. Good scrum was good, line out worked okay, a couple of uh, overthrows, but uh, defence was solid, so, um, yeah. We'll go out the front here, to say, thank you. Uh, Michael, check it. There was two yellow cards, obviously four penalties for um, high contact. Um, what were your thoughts there? And is that an ongoing concern for you? Do you have to address that this week? Mate, we're just giving away too many penalties, full stop. No matter what it's for, like, you can't be winning a game by 45 and then and still losing the penalty count. You, we've got to stop giving away penalties. It's hurting us. I think that's part, especially in the first part, that's... Part of the, I don't know what the actual breakdown of some of them were, but for example, there was one for kicking the ball out of the ruck. Like that's a penalty. You know, we know that. So just those little things uh, we need to, we definitely need to tidy up. And I don't know if that's correlated through the three games, but it feels a little bit like it. And then when we start getting our flow going, we're giving away less penalties. But uh, yeah, got to give away less penalties. Yeah. Mate, I'm really not going to talk about that, to be honest. I think it's pretty clear why not. Just stay clear of it and everyone will be good. Uh, Michael, how was Geordie today? Um, he would have obviously been pretty nervous, didn't touch the ball for about 23 or 4 minutes there, but your thoughts on his debut and um, a couple of nice assists and a try? Yeah, I thought he made some nice touches and uh, uh, he's been absolutely impeccable, you know. he. His injury in Yumea, the way he, where he was, so we said downstairs, you know, where you were down in uh, how, how he, the first day of camp or second day of camp to running on to make your debut and having a significant involvement, you know, scored a try, uh, had a big part in another and, and just did little things like ran down the edge, bounced back in, stayed in touch, kept the ball alive, you know, for the next play, played physical, got up and caught a few balls. We only ever really wanted to play him for the first half of the game as he's coming back, because he probably could have used another week, really, I think, in prep. So, because um, it was a significant injury and all, like, he's done supremely well to get back and, and make his debut, yeah. And was the plan always to play him a half and um, is he available for selection? Sorry, um, what was, was that? He, was the plan always to play him a yes. half of footy? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, he he'll would... be available next week. Okay. No problem. Any concern in it? my left. This one? Yeah. Uh, check, uh, how important was it for Christian Leofano to, to get a, a good bunch of uh, kicks of goal behind him today and knock over a few from sharp angles? Yeah, he, um, he hit them nicely today. I think uh, you could see that maybe the one, I think he missed two, the, the one he missed in the first half, you could see he sort of sat back on that one where he's been, he's been doing a lot of work with Mick um, around his kick and I think he's really improved there, you know, so like in, in this game in particular, so it was, it was good, but you know, mate, at the end of the day, it's, it's every kick on its day, you know, so once you're into the next game, the kicks from the last game do nothing for you, so just practice and keep building, yeah. Did you have a follow-up question or you okay? You okay? Any further? Yeah, Luke at the front here in the second row. Uh, Michael Hooper. The guys looked pretty happy when James Slipper burrowed over. Can you talk us through the emotion around that? I had it a try, like 94 tests, and bloke hadn't got over the, the try line. And he was talking up all week that he wanted to get a try. He was just weaseling into everyone, you know, I'll be there, I'll be supporting. Um, but he did it all himself, carried over the big fella. Um, no, he's a great guy. Um, and everyone was really happy to see him, you know, bundle over there. 20 metres. Yeah. yeah. 20. That's what he said, yeah. <laughs> Any more questions yet? Hand up high. Thank you. 
Uh, Michael Hooper, could I get, just get your thoughts on the, the head high tackles? You know, two yellow cards. I think you might have been pinged for one, possibly yourself, at one stage. That's right. Do you think it's an area that the team does need to sort of refine and, and work on? As, as Michael said, discipline in general. You know, it's a bit of high tackle stuff. That's a bit of offside, um, offside line. Um, you know, giving giving away as many penalties as we did today we made it hard for ourselves. Particularly having 14 men on the field for 20 minutes of that game, it's hard. It makes things makes life hard. Um, you know, it takes a lot of lot of energy out of the tank of our scrummaging t unit, our mauling unit, our line out unit. Your plays are then sh um, sort of uh, you can't run the plays that you want to run. But look, we adapted well on the run um, with that and, and we got ourselves back into the game. I was very impressed with some of the guys' impact in the second half. Now I have a question on my far and right over here. I think it's Japanese journalist. Yeah. Ah, I'm sorry. あの、今日は違う、いつもと違うユニフォームをここで着てプレーされたんですけども、えっと、その理由と、あの、どなたの発案なのかというのをお願いします。いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、
No, no one's up for a laugh today, are they? <laughs> serious it's, it's business. A serious day, isn't it? Uh, our, but um, O'Connor has been, like, it's a very mild injury, you know. We, we picked him knowing that he wouldn't train the two days and when he couldn't get back, he ran yesterday and trained, but he couldn't get himself up to full pace without feeling it, so we just thought best to to move it around. And the lads, they, they need to play some time, you know. Tavita needed to play, you notice I didn't use Samu because he'd been off the back of a full day's training yesterday as well, so I didn't, I want to try to keep him... Um, him, uh, him a bit fresher after having done that. So if we needed to, we would have brought him on, but not a good hit out for the other guys. Now I'll take that one there, and then I think Tom and here had one as well. Did you? Yeah. We'll go here first to my left. Uh, Czech, you've now played Uruguay back-to-back -back, uh, World Cups, and they've become a more professional outfit. And you've watched a lot of the tournament with the, the minnows. What's your take on uh, the gap closing? I guess with some of the uh, lesser light nations that are really coming coming uh, into their own a little bit. No doubt. And I think um, uh, I'm often uh, pitted as the enemy to world rugby, but I can assure you that in this one, they've hit the money exactly right. They've put a lot of investment into the supposed lower tiers, right? Um, and that investment and that focus on those nations, if improving their rugby has worked. I think what they've done has been excellent and it's shown um, it's really good for the game as a whole because every game's a contest, you know, and uh, we, we've seen firsthand from Uruguay uh, exactly their improvement from four years ago to now and I think we've seen that with their defeat of Fiji as well and um, nothing's taken for granted, that's, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, I think that's it's been excellent and it's making the World Cup... Um, as far as competition between the teams and the pools, much better, much better, much better for the crowds and, and much better for, for the game as a whole. I know, miracle. Um, Michael Hooper, um, are you finding the breakdown a bit tricky at this World Cup? Are you finding the policing of, of the breakdown looks to be a little bit messier than perhaps we're, we're expect we're used to seeing? Yeah, it's been, yeah, it's been a bit different. Um, back rows and the on ballers that pick it up the best are going to have good good success. So, um, you know, we, we'll be looking how we can get get better at, better at that part of the game. I thought some guys did well there for our team to, tonight. And we get some good turnovers. Jack was good over the ball, um, even some of our big fellas. But yeah, we want to want to make that a contest. All the teams want to make it a contest. You know, it's a massive part of the game. So, um, it has been different. The team that nails it, it's going to get some good pay. <laughs> 